Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Team Viewer Y. Now, after owning the Pixel 7a for several months, I've gotten to know the ins and outs of this smartphone, and it's finally great to have Android 14 on the Pixel 7a. With this video, I just want to share with you guys what I think is the biggest improvement that I've gotten with the Pixel 7a with Android 14. Let's get started. Right, so in our earlier videos, we did call the Pixel 7a a pretty great phone. It's got a lot of the same hardware elements from the regular Pixel 7 that make it a really worthwhile device. It's got a 9Hz display, so you get the same amount of RAM, and an overall similar design as well as some impressive cameras. With that said, I do think that the Pixel 7a is kind of held back by the battery performance as well as the phone's thermal management, meaning that it tends to get really warm in comparison to most other smartphones out there, especially ones that don't run on Google's Tensor Series chipsets. Now, before we get started, we do have some other Pixel videos here on the channel, and if you want to check them out, I will drop some links in the description below. With that said, let's get on with this video. All right, so after installing Android 14 on the Pixel 7a and using it for some time now, I've seen some definite improvements in terms of battery performance and the overall thermal management on the Pixel 7a. For one, it doesn't get as warm as before. A lot of smartphones will of course get warm if you use mobile data or if you game a lot or stream videos. But with the Pixel 7a, it had a tendency to get generally warmer than most devices out there at least in my experience, and it got warm a lot faster in comparison to other smartphones. But that's as though ever since Android 14, I seem to have gotten less overheating on my smartphone. It definitely doesn't feel as warm as it used to when I use mobile data, or if I'm scrolling or browsing on my phone for a long time, or even with gaming. And I think that the Android 14 update has definitely helped with that. I've actually experienced the same with my Pixel 6a, so we know that the first generation Tensor and Tensor G2 chipsets aren't really the best out there when it comes to handling overheating, but I think that Android 14 has managed to somehow mitigate this issue on the Pixel 7a and the Pixel 6a, at least from what I'm seeing right now. Now in terms of battery life, I do think that Android 14 has helped as well. I've gotten better screen on time with the Pixel 7a. I mean, when I first got the phone, I was getting around maybe 3.5 to maybe 4.5 screen on time and sometime after the Android 14 update I'm getting around 5.5 to around 6 hours of screen on time depending on whether or not I use mobile data or Wi-Fi and of course the relative screen brightness but yeah I'd say that overall it is a definite improvement in terms of battery. Now with that said, screen on time isn't a definite measurement of a phone's battery performance, but I do think that it's a pretty useful indicator, especially when using Google Pixel phones, at least the ones powered by Tensor chips. And yeah, I think these two big factors really contribute a lot to the phone's overall usability. And what I mean is it already comes with great software. Of course, we get some Pixel exclusive features, a terrific camera. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, what really held the Pixel 7a back for me, at least when I first got it, was the battery performance and the thermals on this phone. Of course, with Android 14, we're also getting some added customizability with regards to the phone's theme settings, the home screen customization, and even the lock screen customization. So it's nice to see those make their way on here to the Pixel 7a. Now, do I think that it's a perfect phone now? Well, in terms of its price range, I'd say it's pretty close. You already have the 90 hertz display, you already have the great camera performance, you already have Google's clean software with its Pixel phones, and of course, some exclusive software features. And with the improvement in battery optimization and the thermals, I'd say that it's a pretty terrific phone to get right now, especially with Black Friday coming, we're gonna get a lot of price drops and trade-in deals. So if you're looking for a really cheap Pixel phone, I think this is the one to get. Of course, Android 14 will make a big difference. Now again, I'm telling all of this from my experience, so it might be a bit different for other users out there. So sound off in the comments below, let me know how Android 14 is performing on your Pixel 7a. And yeah, thanks all for watching this quick video. Don't forget to check out our other content here on TeamViewer Y, and I'll see you guys in the next one.